Well, this video will be about with with uh, Thoth had seen in the halls of Amenti. And before I start, I want y'all to know that I am a god fearing man. I am not no idol worshiper. And I actually found out the real job of Thoth because of what the uh, deep state Illuminati people been basically trying to force people to believe. You know, it's like you you believe what we say. That's that's what they're doing, and which is not pure or good intention. You know, it's not good intentions or anything like that. So, uh, I was reading some. Some brought me back to the Emerald Tales of Thoth. Like I be reading it sometimes, but. Today really was it. You know, I just really needed to read it. And I'm just going through, you know, hearing stuff I already heard. But this part that got to me, I don't think anybody recognizes this because they took so much out the Bible. Ain't no telling what the Lord actually said and what he actually gave us as instructions. So I use this as a, a source before the Roman Empire and all that shit, you know. Cause I got a past life too that I'm gonna speak on, and uh, he was saying like when he got down there, he's already not like the uh sons of men anyway. So, you know, of course they're down there like, oh, you know, he's clearly not a man. But when they told the uh, basically he is the devil, but he's not like the devil, devil. He's more like a prince of the darkness. And when he explained. What he seen that made me just look at things differently because mindset is not like existence. I put it like that. Our mindset is a shade of light. It is light or dark, you know, to the point through light or dark, there's infinite possibilities. So technically, we live in illusions that that the light or the dark. Uh, we choose we choose through light or darkness. My bad. We choose whatever we live like through light or darkness to the point when uh they gave they gave him the kid life. This is under the earth. This is in the house of many. I'm gonna put that in the title too. Uh, he was already with the light guys, the light, the sons of men. What he calling the children of the, of the light? He's already with them, so they bring him to the uh dark halls. Like he's in the halls of the light, but he's in the dark halls now. And they tell the guy that's sitting on the throne is some big dark guy on the throne. They tell him not to touch him. Basically, he's uh one of us. Basically, he's one of the light brothers. He's gonna be a messenger. And he's like, okay. And, uh, as he said, okay. He sends the uh, he sends the a uh, curtain back. He sends a big dark curtain back. And when he sends it back, a whole bunch of pieces of light. You know, like fires you know big, like look like fireflies and shit a whole bunch of lights just coming out the curtain and he's like what is that Thoth is like what is that and when the children of the light said these are the souls of the sons of men you know they're killed behind here when they're in darkness basically and when they break the veil they're free from the curtain and when he said that shit i just had to think i'm like so you telling me right now all of our souls that's not free. Like the people that's not free, the mankind that's not free is behind a fucking curtain in in the spirit realm under us. You know, cause since our consciousness is so strong, we like the planet is probably not what we think it is, especially now knowing now knowing that the earth is not a ball. I it is is it makes more sense because he kept saying planes of existence. Planes of existence doesn't sound like a fucking globe, you know? So I just thought about it. We are we are literally living like triple lives. Like one of our lives as the soul is under the fucking earth. Like under like behind the little curtain if if we're not aware of shit. And the other life is here on earth. And then the third life is in heaven. Because though whether we choose good or bad, our record is written in heaven. So we are living triple lights right now. We're not even knowing it. We could barely get the regular fucking life on earth and, and check and shit. So just hearing that people's souls are behind our curtain under the damn earth in a, in a cosmic time zone. It just explains a lot of stuff because... I always wonder why people act so blind and ignorant and lost and just so 
just weak. You know, when you when you act like that, you're weak. You know, it's a weakness that people with light don't like to be around because it's like a abyss. Like you suck the energy away from people who got the light in them and stuff. And the ones who got the light in them ain't behind the curtain. You know, they're drawing their energy from the light source, the fire of light, they said the, the flower of life and stuff. And I ain't saying like, oh, I forgot about what God said. I told y'all, man, they took so much stuff out the Bible to the point he he probably got 30,000 books explaining this shit and they took it out. They hiding it under the Vatican or some shit. So I can't sit there and be like, the Lord didn't say that. I don't know everything the Lord said for me to be acting like we, I know everything he said and didn't. We don't know every damn thing he said or did or created. We just know some things. So the fact that a lot of you fake Christians are that arrogant, wild, trying to um, talk down on people, that lets me know right there, you are a worker of the dark. You work for the devil, the masonry. You know, you work for that shit because the Lord is infinite. And he created so many things, not even his angels know. If he if he didn't even tell the angels when revelation is going to be, do you really think the Lord told the angels every single creation he ever made? No. And it's not because, oh, he, he's an evil guy and all that. Some things are just strictly for God. You know how parents have food. Let's say everybody eating and stuff, but the parents' food, the parents' plate is bigger than the child's plate. That's how it always gonna fucking be. But you gonna argue with your parents? I want more food because no, that's not gonna happen because they're the parents. They pay for the food. They fix the food. This is their house. That's what y'all doing with God. Y'all really out here trying to talk about God and tell him what he need to be doing, what he should have said, and this and that. Y'all got the fucking nerve, man. That's why I don't I don't deal with a lot of uh, aware people and shit because so called aware people, not real aware people. The so-called aware people, I don't deal with them because they're trying to be aware instead of being aware. You know, it's kind of like street shit, too. Somebody trying to be street versus somebody who is a street nigga. It's the same shit. Somebody who's trying to be woke ain't a person that is woke. You know? And I seen so much shit about voodoo, this and all that. Voodoo and all types is evil, man. Anytime my bed is raining, so good thing I ain't getting rained on though. I'm in the car. Anytime you gotta do some fucking voodoo for any damn thing, it's evil. You don't need voodoo. And you can't say prayer is voodoo. You can't say what Christians are doing with voodoo is voodoo because no, I ain't never seen a Christian real life use blood and kill motherfuckers just for some fucking demon power and shit. Nigga, our power is in the Lord, the life source. He put the power in us, you know? So what the hell do I look like trying to act like, oh, no, nah, you know, we got to do voodoo is not evil. People just thought it was evil because what they said. No, nah, they said it was evil because these motherfuckers are evil as fuck. If you don't think that, then damn it, you're a dumbass motherfucker and you're going to get sacrificed next. <laughs> For real, because I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't understand what the hell can't y'all see. That curtain, y'all, y'all behind the fucking spiritual cosmic black curtain under the earth. I'm gonna come up with a name of it. Y'all, it's the dark halls of many. That's the name of it. The dark halls of many, and y'all should be in the light. Y'all should be no fucking dark. And you know, we we know it's the uh the Illuminati and the serpent people. We know them. It's just the fact you could break that shit. You think light cannot penetrate dark? If you think that shit, then maybe maybe you got the problem and you need to learn. And maybe you need to fight for your freedom because you know how they always single us out. That's the same thing. The Lord, yeah, he might have people, groups of people saving each other and shit. But if you keep it real, he he judges a person's life, life, uh, life card singly. He don't he don't sit there and judge groups of people at the same time. He go by that person, you know, to the point on. Um, it, it makes sense. You know, I, I I am a firm believer of the halls of many and things under the earth and spiritual topics because I seen a lot that I didn't even know, you know, before I knew. Plus, since my soul is ancient, I seen shit that my my soul knew, but my physical body didn't, which also made me aware of the shit because I don't I don't understand how is that possible. You know, you know, how some people be like, well, you know, your dreams ain't real. You just 
you just seen everything you went through or something like that. How the fuck is that possible if I'm seeing shit I never seen before? You know, some questions ain't meant for science. They can't explain it. And that's why they look crazy because there ain't nothing down here like that. They can really just explain every damn thing besides God. Y'all don't understand how God works. God sent his messages either himself or through his angels or through people to the point most of the things that the Lord told people wasn't a physical him just talking to them. You know, I ain't got to tell people to breathe air if they already fucking automatically do the shit, you know. So it's certain things people just do too much for. And then when it comes to their favorite celebrity, they they come up with all the excuses of the book why they, they're not wrong and why they can't commit wrong and why everybody's against them and shit. Like, really, dude, this celebrity going to fucking die. They shit, piss, talk, fart, just like every other human. The Lord don't do none of that. He's not a physical being. He's a spirit. The spirit. The creator. He is God. So, you know, the the fact that y'all putting fart shit pissing humans over the Lord, that's why nobody fucking with y'all. That's why y'all going through curses and shit. To keep it real, because um, y'all done my God for the last time, man. You know, it's too much. Way too much. And shit, all I say is for people to uh, keep seeking, man. Do, do not stop. I don't give a fuck if you think you know everything. Do not stop seeking the truth. It's always there. It's more to learn every single day. And you'll be surprised what you'll learn tomorrow, you know. But I'm in there right there.